how come it took so long for the Harper deal to finally get done with the Phillies, Scott? Well, I think the calendar in baseball has a historical aspect and it has a current aspect. Uh, what we're finding is that the teams nowadays with their analytic uh, abyss that they've uh, all ascribed to um, in November and December, they're just really involved in the trade category and the free agent markets are, are really kind of uh, a secondary step after they've determined that their trade categories uh, do not deliver them uh, what they think is going to make them a competitive team. And therefore, really, we, we begin, we have arbit the arbitration process, which takes up in January, and then so free agency kind of begins earnestly in, in February for most players. So how has analytics changed what you do, Scott? Um, a great deal in the sense that the barometer by which teams evaluate players is less individualized. Um, you know, in Bryce Harper's case, he had a he's had a career where um, you know he was rated in one system as having a 1.6 WAR or win value, and in another one having a, a 3.5. And when you see superstar players that have received contracts like this, uh, their ratings are in the nines uh, for a rod a couple times or for. Um, you know, in the sevens and high eights for Stanton. And um, so that the fact that he was coming off an injury in 17 and coming into 18, it created a, a very difficult uh, evaluative process because you had to essentially overcome a barometer that is now commonly used. Uh, in the in the baseball vernacular. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.